New year, new me. New year, new me. New year, new me. Man, it's been a while. I mean, a long time. Months, indeed, before I uploaded something. I streamed a little bit. Not really anything important. But, man. New year, new me. That's in the past. We don't worry about that. We're now we're here. But, uh... But back in the past, actually, I made an AVK tutorial, if you don't know about it. I'll throw it up on the screen real quick if you want to go check that out. That probably, you should probably watch it after you watch this video, though, because it'll probably help you with it. But, man, there's a lot of questions. How do you get the 3D logo? How do you get the 3D? How do you make it 3D in text like that? And how do you make the PSD for it? Well, it's not that hard. I did it recently, so let's just jump right into it. First thing we're going to do is go to File, New. And go 800 by 800 resolution 72. I really don't care. Do 300 if you want, but I'm just going to stick with a 72. I'm going to turn off this layer. Um, click on the lock. Turn it off. It don't really, doesn't really matter right now. But yeah, I just opened up Spotify next. And let me close out that. You're going to drag in your logo. Your logo you're going to use for this. I'm going to use my evil logo that Shiv made for me a while back. Um, it's evil in Japanese. It's pretty sick. Then we're going to go to the magic wand tool. And left corner so over here click on it shift left click on all the parts of your logo that you want in the 3d thing then you're gonna right click make work path tolerance 1.0 and this should pop up all these uh points look like a pentacle point will pop up and that's perfect if you don't see it you can just click on the work path in the in the pass over here but otherwise what we're gonna do now is you're gonna go to edit my bad file export pass pass to illustrator we're gonna press ok and we're gonna do uh evo logo tut for name it whatever you want you'll save it wherever you, wherever you want to save it then you're gonna go open up C cinema 4d and uh we're just gonna like close out of that what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a light room. I'm gonna actually leave this one in the description. It's not that hard to make. It's pretty simple. It's really just freaking lights in the air and a camera. But it's pretty simple. I'll leave this one in the description if you wanna use it. If you wanna follow along, whatever. You're gonna to go to file. So after you open this, you're gonna file, merge, and then you're gonna find that file that you saved. Evil logo t tut. You're gonna open that. It's a matter if it's okay. And then bring this closer to you. Like right here. Seems about good. That works. Then what we're gonna do is open this up. Open this pass up. I'm gonna actually bring this down here so you don't have to worry about it. Then after you do that, you're gonna have the group of your parts. If it has more than one part of the logo, if it's just one logo, you should only have one path. Otherwise, it should be in a group like this. Then what you're gonna do is make this 3D. You're gonna go to this little cube thing hold and drag and then press extrude when we get extrude we're going to put it in here and we're going to mess with it before we do it we're going to go to fill it we're going to go to caps on the press on extrude go to caps press fill a cap one fill a cap one on these two on the start and end and then what we're going to do is go to your object and i'm going to say 31 this is what i did last time and to make it 3d we're going to take the path and drag it on here and then bam that's 3d but before I do that before I want to do that I'm going to make a cop copy this five five times and we're going to just drag it and make the put all the paths into the extrudes make sure you don't go like this you don't put the extrude on the path you need to put the path on the extrude to make it actually look 3d otherwise it will not work so just drag it onto all the ones that you have. I have an extra one, I'm just gonna backspace to delete it. And what you're gonna do next is you're gonna basically click on this. You're gonna make it where you want it, how you want it. Turn it back a little bit if you want. Give it a little tilt to the side. It's completely up to you. You decide. If you wanna pre preview it, you just click this left corner over here. And it'll preview what your theme has. It's it's pretty good. It's um that's the main part of the 3D text. The next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our group and copy and paste this. Once you copy and paste this, we're gonna go to all the extrudes and go to object movement, change this to zero. 
Change all of them to zero. The then what we're going to do is turn off all these check marks on the 3D one and turn it off to make it 2D. So now we only have a 2D one. We're doing this because we want we need it for the AVI. You need to have two separate parts, a 2D and a 3D one. And if you have only a 3D one, you can't really. It makes it a lot harder for you to make um, clipping mask onto the self properly. So that's why we need this 2D 2D one. But after that, that's all you have to do in the, in the Cinema 4D to make it 3D. And next, we're going to go up to this little settings um, clip thing, with Jiggy. And in here. We're gonna to go to save, it's gonna be on output. Go to save, and then you're gonna to go to file, and select where you want it, name it. So I'm gonna name this Evo Tutorial 2D. Press save. And then the main part, you want to make sure you have this on. Make this sure this is PNG, and make sure alpha channel is on. If you don't have this on, it will not be uh, transparent, and you need to have that on to make it transparent. Otherwise, this would not work. Then we're gonna to go to the middle button in this clip area, and it will render out this, uh, the shape that you made. The next one you're gonna do is do this, turn this off and turn these back on. You just left click and hold and you can drag them off and turn them on and off. Then we're gonna go back to settings and we're gonna rename this to 3D. I'm gonna name it 3D2 because I already made one but it's whatever. Um, then make sure to set alpha channels on PNG. You're all good. We render this out. This might take a little bit depending on your PC. It shouldn't take that long in general. But we're going to have that rendering out. Once that's done, we're going to go back into Photoshop. And I'm going to just get rid of this. I'm going to click on the pen tool. Uh, make selection. Okay. Control D. I don't, I don't need the path anymore. You can turn that off. You don't need that logo no more. And then now we're going to go to the, your folder where you saved it at. So I've saved it in here. So let me just find it real quick. Uh, right here. So we're gonna click on both of these. Oops. So we're gonna drag the 3D tutorial in, and then we're gonna drag the 2D one in. And this should be go right on top of each other. You shouldn't even notice it really. See, right on top of each other. Perfect quality. My bad. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna resize it to what you want. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I want it a little bigger. Put it in the middle. Find the middle of the page. You can use the rulers and stuff like that if you want. But otherwise, it's really not necessary. You should snap to where you get to the middle. See, middle, fine. It's it's all good. Then next, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a new color. My bad. Then we're gonna make a new tab. Make it a nice black. I never go fully black, I go a little bit above it. I don't know, that's just my personal preference. I hate hardcore black. And then we're gonna make that in the background. Next thing we're gonna do is I have this little on and off thing. It's really nice. I really love it. What this is, it's like it's a uh, just a uh, lighting effect that we're gonna put on the the logo you have here. Just like so, add a little effect to it. I'm gonna take the soft brush and erase a little bit so you don't really see it. If you have a hard black, you don't see it. But yeah, it just adds a little nice, lights up the logo a little more and make it look a little better. The next thing I'm gonna do on the, to this PSD is we're gonna click on this 3D, the 3D layer, blending options, and we're gonna go to inner shadow. I'm gonna turn this on. These are my settings. Make it soft light. Make it white. 46, 13, 0, 5. And then it should add this little effect, little light effect on the edges. And the final, th there's two more things I'm going to do. We're just going to add add your text. Make it whatever font you want. I'm just going to write name and make it white. It's nothing too hard. Just add some Satan onto it, and then if you want to add a little more lighting onto this layer, go to the very top, take a soft brush, and click, and just lower the opacity down a little bit. And then you added some more light, and then bam, PSD done. 
You can recenter it however you like. Make that folder. Just like so. Bam. Done. That's all you have to do. It's pretty simple. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it helped you out a little bit. Hopefully I didn't take too long. I tried to be more specific so people will understand it better because I know Cinema 4D is a harder program to understand. I did get the new pop filter. <laughs> Oh, for the quality is pretty good. Um, yeah. See you in the next one. Peace.